This video will walk you through the student experience on Manga High. The first page students see when they log in is called My List. It's the very first link on the top. My List contains everything that has been assigned by the teacher, that the artificial intelligence has recommended based on performance to personalize learning, and everything that the students tried in free play. They'll see a challenge tile with the name of the activity. If they've earned a medal, that medal level will be listed. And if they haven't earned a medal, they'll see a smiley face with a sweat drop, encouraging them to keep trying, and the number of attempts they've made so far. If the activity is assigned, the teacher's name will appear and it will say assigned by the teacher. If the activity is pinned to the desktop for free play, there won't be any descriptor at all. So there's lots of free play on the page that we're looking at right now. If the activity is recommended, it will say recommended on the tile. I ask my students to go to their assignments first during class. Students' assignments never go away, so they can keep trying them even after the due date has passed. And we often see students earning medals and improving their medal score long after the due date. Here the student can see how many times they've tried an activity and if they've earned a medal or not and when the activity is due. The due date has passed for all of these assignments and now they're categorized by month that they were assigned. Recommended activities are added to this list automatically by the artificial intelligence to help a student scaffold up to content when they are struggling and to stretch them when they show success. Students can try any grade level activity on Manga High that they would like to play. They can look through by grade level, or they can search for content by math domain. This is the only time a student knows what grade level they're working on because grade level is one of the selectors for the content. In all other instances, they won't see a grade level marked anywhere on the activity. Students can also free play any game from start to finish. They just click the game name and then press play. After they stop playing, the next time they begin again, they'll leave, they'll start at the level where they left off. This is different, a different way than students play games than when you assign them. When you assign a game, you assign a piece of the game that drops the student into a level that aligns with the learning objective you selected and pulls them out when it's complete. In free play, students can play a game from start to finish across the progression of learning. This may cover more than one grade level. Leaderboards are part of the gamification. In Manga High, you see the same leaderboard on your dashboard that students see. You'll see leaderboards for the region that your school is located in and for your school. If your school is active in a head-to-head -head competition with another school, you'll see that queuing here and then you can click this area for more information about the Phi 2. You'll be able to see how your students are performing and how many rounds you've won so far. Scrolling down, you'll see the number of trophies that your school has won in Phi 2's overall and the number that they've lost. This school has won six and lost nine trophies. When you win a trophy, you capture it from the other school's trophy case and place it in your own. And when you lose a FI2, 
your trophy is captured by the other school. So these are all of the trophies that this school has captured from the other schools. When students click on a school's name, they'll see more information about that school. And you can click the arrows to go back and click the X to close that panel. Students can change their avatar by clicking Edit and selecting a new one. And they also receive inbox messaging from you in this area here. If you've sent any messages to students, they just click here to receive those messages. Students can never message another student or you. They can only reply to messages that you send. So at the beginning of the school year, I like to send a message welcoming students to Manga High and inviting them to respond to me here with questions or requests for help. Remind your students to log out after every session so that um, if you're in a one-to-one -one school, the next person who comes along and uses that same device won't be working in the wrong student's account. And that's a quick overview of the student dashboard. Please contact us at support at mangahigh.com if we can help you understand anything about the student's experience on Manga High.